Today we're going to be looking at a game called Farkle. This is a dice game. The basics of it are you get to roll six dice, and if you get ones or fives, single one or five, you get points. Specifically, a hundred or fifty, respectively. So if you have a single one, you get a hundred. You get a single five, you get fifty. And so if you got two ones, you would get 200, two fives, you get 100 total. Now, if you can get three of a kind, you get basically 100 times the dice value. So for example, if you have three twos, you get 200, three threes, you get 300, so on up to 600 for sixes. Ones are special. Ones give 1,000 instead. And then if you get more than that, so if you get four of a kind, you would get an extra of that amount. So you get basically double what you would get for triples. So for example, if you have four twos, you would then get 400, so double the 200. So this is a game where you basically keep going until you can no longer make any more scores. And if you do that, you get something called a Farkle. So it ends up stopping the game. Now at any point, rather than re-rolling dice, you can actually stop and take whatever your current score is and add it to your overall score. So there's an element of, do you want to keep going and try and get a few more points? If not, then you should stop and actually collect whatever you've gotten so far. We're not going to have a final score in this game. This is a game that you could continue to play to see what your high score is, or you could make it so that you have, you have to try and get a certain number of points in a certain number of rounds. I'll leave that part up to you, but I wanted to get the basics of the game down. So this is going to be a game that's going to require images. I'm going to show you my images real quick. I just pulled a simple little dice picture and then cut the individual ones into different images. You could do this in any image program. You could use GIMP or Paint or whatever it is on Macs or you could use Piscal Online. There's a variety of different things you could do. So basically I just want individual images. And I'm going to use those to actually create my interface. So to begin with, things that we're going to need for Farco. So I'm going to need to have some kind of window. So I'm going to do a frame, a J-frame. I'm going to have to import this. It's going to be quite a list of imports by the time we're done with this game. We're going to need to be able to put all of the dice into this. So I'm going to create a container. I'll call this a dice container. This is where I'm going to put all of the dice buttons. So I'll have six of those dice buttons. So we'll import that as well. I'm going to need to have a each of those six buttons. So I'm going to have an array of buttons. New J button array of six things in it. So that creates the array, even though I haven't actually made the objects themselves. Once again, I need to import that. And then to create images on these things, you can use something called an icon, and in particular, an image icon. So an image icon is a Java class that actually allows you to take an image and put it into other objects. So I'm going to create an array of those so that I have, since I'm going to have six images potentially, I want to be able to save those off. Let's see, what else do we need for this thing? Probably need to import that. So we've already got our quite our list of things up here. I'm going to need to create a container for the actions I can take. So I want a container, button container. Should put a space here. Not there, there. 
So I'm going to be able to roll the dice initially. I'm going to be able to score the dice, and I have to be able to stop. So a J button. I guess I'll call this the roll button. The new J button. We'll say roll on it and put two T's in this. We need a similar thing for the score button. And we need a stop button. All right, what other things do we need? Well, we probably need to keep track of score as well. Make sure that's right. So we need to keep track of our current score. We need to keep track of our total score. And we probably want to keep track of the round as well. So rather than buttons, I'm going to make these labels, J labels in particular, which basically means a swing version of that. A J label is just text that you can put wherever you want. So current score. Don't really want to spell out label. And this will be current score zero initially. Import that guy. Boy, look at all these things up here. And total score label. Total score. Let's see, we then need the round, it's the last one. All right, so that's all the stuff for the interface. Why don't I go ahead and get started on that? I'm going to set my frame size to be 600 by 600, I think. I'm going to go grab all my images now. So image icon 0 is going to be a new image icon. And now I have to put in the path to where it's located. So in my particular project, if I go look at this, this is the base of my particular project. It's inside the Fargo project that I've created. And so inside of here, I've created another folder. And then I have the individual images themselves. I could have put them out at this level, but I wanted to keep them organized in here. So to refer to that particular thing, I'm going to do a single dot, which means the current directory. So that's the Farkle directory from where I'm at. Slash. IMG is the name of the folder they're in. Slash. And then a particular image that I want to grab might be one.png. Oh, wait a minute. I'm putting these in the wrong spot, I just realized. These are going to go in a constructor. For goal. Should make that public. And this guy should just say new far goal. There we go. 